they say you are a man of good taste. <laughs> and that you are a worthy substitute to your predecessor, Mr. Renfield. It's genuine, it's gold dust. But its topicality makes it suspect. Smiley is suspicious, Percy. Where did it come from? What's the access? A case with four stones in it! Not one or two or three, but four! Four stones! But what the hell am I supposed to do with an empty case? And Henry Young is the one on trial here, not me. I am a, a public servant! I am not the bad guy. I will not be treated the same way as this. This lying, murdering, two-time loser! Silence! Mr. I tell him if you report anything which undermines my authority, if you, if you portray my officers as incompetent, if you do any of these things, it... I will kill myself. Well, uh, I was uh, led to believe that uh, Mr. Uh, Bertram said that he would take care of oh, any... Oh, that's fine. Uh... Annunciation is the mark of a good actor. And when you enunciate, you spit. <laughs> Give my regards to oblivion. I told you. Benny. Bring me everyone. What do you mean, everyone? Everyone! Well, first I need you to pack off the boys. No. Yes, I know. The day you, you never thought would arrive half. Oh, wow. Can you hear? Oh, they sound fantastic. is my absolute first choice. Oh, I'd so want you in my poker game. Stand away! All of you! I don't want anything for his mob lawyer to use, you understand? What I want to hear, or I will execute a member of the senior staff and continue killing one hostage every minute until the plane crash, or refueling plane arrives. I expect you're tired of hearing this. But you look so unlike your father. Except your eyes. Yeah, my you. mother's eyes. <laughs> it's cruel that I got to spend so much time with James and Lily and you so little. But know this. The ones that love us never really leave us. And you can always find them. In here. Thick you are. I ain't as thick as you. No one's as thick as me. You're thick. I'm hard. It's white, isn't it? into Alex's reign, making him think he's in control. But he's not. It, it's the illusion of free will. Then my fist shall descend on thee like a stone. Like a stone. And my sword shall cut thee into bloody parts, and even thy memory shall be sacrificed to the winds for all time. Now see, we're sitting down here, ready to negotiate. <laughs> You've already given up your shit. I'm still a mystery to you. But I know exactly where your white ass is coming from. See, if I ask if you want some dinner, and you grab the egg roll and start a child out, I said to myself, this motherfucker, he's carrying on like he ain't got a care in the world, and who knows? Maybe he don't. Maybe this fool's 
such a bad motherfucker. He don't got to worry about nothing. He just sit down, watch my motherfucking TV. See? <laughs> you ain't even sat down yet. And that TV over there, since you've been in the room, is a woman with her breasts is hanging out. You ain't even bothered to look. You just been clacking me. I know I'm pretty. But I ain't as pretty as a couple of titties. My plays are about getting away with it, and the ones who get away with it are the guilt. I've got away with it so far, and I'm going to go on.